um, I was aware that Joe probably was asked to call in at 9.30 that night. And I, I was aware that you had a radio show How that you night. I'm sorry. How were you aware that Joe would be asked to call in? I never had a conversation with Joe. I had another show planned that actually was cancelled. I was the How were you aware of that? We're not, not even friends. Where did you get that, that information from? I was aware of that. And I have Where did you get that information from? Neither here nor there, but I have a Okay, moving along, again, no proof. Next, delegation. I had already been getting calls in this day, asking whether I would like to go on Andy Pete's radio show. No, and therefore, I should that he maybe got on to the live radio well, last night and then you've got your wire across. Well, I'm clarifying what you're saying about the radio exclusive and calling me a liar. I don't appreciate you being called a liar. I'm appreciate being called a liar and a false sexual abuser when I don't do that. I'm a child of I'm a child No, I haven't done any of that. That is what I've said. The only words that I've said to be said is in my belief is that Julian is a sexual sadist. Not a sexual Predator that Tracy Morris has mentioned. But a sexual paddy. A sexual paddy. So that's the thing that gets the kick out of hurting somebody and what he does. I've studied it quite a lot now. So that is that thing I've come across. I've not said, and I, I mentioned it at the beginning of the show yesterday, that it's not about sexual predator. It's about his conduct, his behavior, infiltrating into the group, using other people through social psychology, what he's doing, and the effect that he's having on people that are trying to come to your groups for the help that you say that you're trying to give. Now, I'm not sitting there convinced entirely. I don't get involved in loads of groups. I don't even know Tom Corbett. I don't know Mark. I don't know everybody. And that's how I keep but what I see going on makes me not stupid to see that what is going on is there is infiltrating going into the group. A lot hasn't been able to go forward. Too many egos, too many perks, perks going on, and too many people thinking that they they know better than everybody else. We are all equal. I we are not any higher than anything else. I'm here to fight for the rights of what, what is going on, not because I'm a victim, but because I see what is going on. So you and everybody else, I'm not going to mention names as you've asked me Constantly spread 
Me saying John or Sean? going around on Facebook. Um, a lot of his name is being called up on Facebook. But I'm not sure why. From Jessica and myself and also Claire Grimes. Um, now, I, 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 obviously, I've seen the notice that um, I've been invited to call into the show, and I'm returning your call. Yeah, so um, I, I understand you have some questions for me. Yeah, so, you know, I Uh, first of all, I posted it publicly, my, my telephone number for yourself and Jessica. And then I received. Yeah. Then I did receive. Just answering the first question. Okay. Uh, can I answer the question? Yeah, if you, if you 
can do it one by one, and then I can answer them one by one. Okay, like that. Again, that's the Yes, you sent a video, um, a voice thing, but I wasn't sure how to send you yeah. one back. Um, and I sent you two messages, one with them with my telephone number in, because I'd already posted it publicly beforehand. Um, on Joe, Joe Public's first one we were commenting. answer them and then I can come off because I don't really, I can't speak on behalf of Joe Public, I can only speak on behalf of myself. Sorry, it, it, I'm just waiting for the question, I do apologise if I'm interrupting so much. But um, yeah, if we can go ahead.
social psychology of what Julian uses is using you to um, it, sorry if I can can I finish it is using you to um, to come in. so it's not, it's not my personal opinion it's what happened because I have sent you the screenshot on on the 15th of August of Julian sorry can I speak am I allowed to answer well then you're not you're then not you're stopping my freedom of speech which is my human right to do so and we what you preach people have is you can't tell me that's not my human rights. I have human rights whether or not you say so. There I have an alien of God given rights. I have freedom of speech it no I have proof to back it up. I sent that to you as well. So I'd like to explain my, my can I explain my answer? Okay. I would have yes, yeah, I would have it if I can explain it and then we can we can communicate better. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay. Well, basically, when I came to Leeds, I didn't know you very, very well. All I'd known is you being the woman called Claire that Julian kept bringing in and asking me, um, saying to me, Claire wants to speak to you. Claire says hello. Um, I was up in the field walking my dog with Julian at the time, and he's 
you was on the phone to him at the time and I spoke to you. This is around, I say, February, uh, September, early on. No, maybe July, early on. And then that's when Julian asked me, why didn't I add you? I then tried to add you, but there was some conflict that couldn't add you. But for some reason, he kept trying to ask me to add people that are popular on Facebook. But for me, I don't really kind of, I, I don't follow that. I have a quite small following. Um, so, or, or people that I follow, sorry. Um, so on, on that side of it, um, yeah, the more he kept going on about you, that, that's how I knew about you. I wasn't sure who you were because of actually my, my sister's concerns about you and, and of the fact that I can actually, sorry, 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 please, the, the fact that I have been defending you, sorry, sorry, I'm I'm speaking. The fact that I have been defending you for the past three months or so, and is saying that I actually believe, saying that I actually believe is something that is being said is untrue. When I saw you in Leeds, I didn't know who you were. When you, I saw you in Leeds, sorry, can I speak, or are you going to control this and speak over me? Because you're actually doing, you're not, you're not actually being fair, Claire. You've asked me a, a, a question. Please allow me to respond. Can you, can you hear me? Okay, well, I'm getting to, to that point, if you were allowed me to. You've asked me to call in. Yeah, you've asked me to call in. Okay. I'm not giving you a victim story because I'm not put, no, no, I'm not going to hang up as much as what that's what you're trying to push for now. I'm going to answer the questions so then you can stop the lies that you're putting on Facebook about me or whichever you are putting out to other people. Now you've asked me a question and I'd like to to answer it. Is that possible or is that not going to be possible tonight? Anxiety. I don't like talking to people. I hadn't spoke to anybody at, at that point when I went outside for a cigarette and I saw you coming back up and you, I said hello. I actually took the, the opportunity to say hello to you, even though you know who I am. Why didn't you take the opportunity to say who you are? Why didn't you take the opportunity to say hello to me? So at that point, yes, no, I didn't talk to anybody. And what you're trying to um, assume is that I walked in there trying to parade around 
and tell everybody no. Julian had got Julian had brushed past me three, three times, triggered me, went and walked and said something in the short ear. It's recorded. He went and said it's recorded. He went and said something in the short ear. Tried to trigger me. Me, I then went to ask him and confronted him. I was shaking as though to everybody else. They're not understanding in trauma and abuse and triggering off. And that is what Julian did. Now, when I was when I went off out into the crowd, is when I was talking to Borden, who noted and no what was going on. I didn't go there to talk to everybody. I did go there to actually pass on some knowledge of what I've been doing and fighting the system so rightly like you've been saying that the system needs to unite. So Julian is aware of this. He's been trying to stop my cases. Whichever way you look at it here, he tried to stop me from speaking that day. When I went to go and when I, I went to go and walk out, Julian was standing there with Russell and to me it felt like the criminal was getting away. So well, I tried to speak and speak out to Russell as the first point of contact. He told me to calm down. Now, all I ask is that real change maybe get some training from Nigel Amara or the CSA or some people to get some training and not to sit there and undermine people who are trying to speak out. Because you do not get a, you do not get a second chance make a first impression. Now, when I try to speak out, that's when I then left the building and went after Julian and made the recording that I have, the full length, which will be shown. I will make the whole bundle this week. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to do it the way I would like to do it. But at the moment, I'm going to expose everything I have. So for you calling me a liar, that's your opinion. You have not seen anything. Right. Okay. Then when I went outside, I then came back in. And then when I came back in, I spoke to Christy Morris. There was a couple of people down at the bottom. I went to turn around accidentally. I nearly knocked over Chrissy Morris's little boy. And I felt ashamed, horrified. I wanted to get out of the building because, I, to me, nobody was listening. I wasn't trying to talk to everybody. But we're, we're trying to get to the bit where you were saying that I spoke to everybody when I did I was actually quite on my own. No, no, I, I stood for quite a long time before I outed Julian. I sat or I stood for quite a long time. For possibly about an hour or two hours. What is my actual claim against Julian? I'm asking you, I'm burning up your show. You accused me of lying. And I will confront Julian when he's prepared to do so instead of trying to twist it as though it's something about Joe Public and himself. And trying to create a whole 
system. Well, I'm, I'm a bit concerned as to why you're not, not sitting there and allowing people to speak when you've asked them to read your show. You're, you're calling them liars. You've already attacked another CSA victim, which you've decided to attack her because she's decided. It's all over your page, and you screenshotted, you screenshotted pictures and I actually 
1954. As I said, it was Gordon Bowden's post. I thought he was an agent at the time. So if you would like to go back to that and refer back to it, I didn't, I wasn't sure of you. I've now had that clarified. But now, after speaking to you in the last week, I'm not really sure what your mission is. So I'm like, I'm, I'm wanting to get to that point of it all. So when, as soon as I didn't speak to anybody before I spoke to you, and as soon as I didn't speak to anybody until quite a long time into the Leeds meeting, and until Julian had triggered me, I think we need to move on from that, that fact. So that's question number one. Are you satisfied? Because I'm not, I'm not an attention seeker, and I, I don't like to sit there and bring all attention to myself. And maybe, maybe when it's quiet at the end of the meeting, I'd like, like to do it then. But since Julian had triggered me beforehand, well, since Julian had triggered me beforehand, he, he brought it on a lot sooner. So, next question. Are you satisfied with that question? And that, that it's been answered. Okay. No, this is not about me at all. This, this is why I haven't done it on behalf of me because I'm not a victim. I'm strong enough to stand and and, and push down the, the controlling tactics of Julian. Well, from what you've been calling me this week, silly little girl, telling me that you're 33 years old and black, and that's how I know your your age, by the way. That's why I said I'm 28, because I don't see an age problem in it. I mean, my dad was 69, his, his wife was 35, what's the issue with the age? There's no age, there's no ego. We should all get along, and as I sent you that thing, I would like to get along with you, but you've decided to come and call me a liar, so I'd like to get these clarified. Well, that's your view, Claire. Well, opinions. They're like assholes. Everybody has them. Okay. I haven't asked your opinion. You called me a liar, but I asked for your questions, and I'll answer them. Great, gracefully. I'll answer your questions gracefully. Okay. Question number one is answered. What was question number two? Are you satisfied with that? No, 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 I'm just asking the question. Like, you've asked these questions. You want them clarified. I'm giving you the respect. Do you want to actually answer them for you? And why do I start with you? Really? Well, because you're trying to stop me from talking. And when I said controlling, this is exactly what I mean. 
A conversation goes both ways. Thank you. 
Sorry, something happened there, I'm not sure. I didn't mean that. I sure where 
where we were, where it was going. You did put the phone down. I did say to you that you came across authoritative and, and controlling, and I didn't appreciate it. Yeah. Um, but then there's lots of allegations that I'm saying that, that um, you were aggressive. I didn't say that you were aggressive. Um, I don't. I didn't, didn't feel you were aggressive at all. Well, uh, I would like to clarify that I didn't feel that you were aggressive at all. Um, but I did feel that you became across authoritative and quite controlling. Um, and, and therefore, for lying to Joe Public, um, I was aware that Joe Public was asked to call in at 9.30 that night. And I was aware that you had a radio show that night at 9 o'clock. when I don't do that. I'm a child of, a child of abuse victim. No, I haven't done any of that. That is what I've said. The only words that I've said to be said is in my belief is that Julian is a sexual sadist. Not a sexual predator that Tracy Morris has mentioned, but a sexual no, that is somebody that gets it, the kick out of hurting somebody and then and what he does. And I have studied it quite I have studied it quite a lot now. So that is something I've come across. So I've not said it. I mentioned it at the beginning of the show yesterday. That it's not about sexual predator. It's about his conduct, his behaviour, infiltrating into different groups, using other people through social psychology. What he's doing and the effect that he's having on people that are trying to come to your groups for the help that you you say that you're trying to give. Now, I'm not sitting there convinced entirely. I don't get involved in loads of groups. I don't even know Tom Corbett. I don't know Mark. I don't know everybody. And that's how I keep it. But what I see going on makes me not sure 
stupid to see that, that what is going on is there is infiltrating going in, into the groups. A lot hasn't been able to go forward. Too many egos, too many packs, packs going on, and too many people thinking that they know better than everybody else. We are all, all equal. We are not any higher than anything else. I'm here to fight for the rights of what is going on, not because I'm a victim, but because I've seen what is going on first time. You know, you, you and everybody else, um, I'm not going to mention names as you've asked me not to, but you and those people has, has constantly called me a victim, constantly spread lies about Facebook about me, about Sean, no, no, constantly spread Facebook messages and comments about Sean, about me, about accusations that are incorrect. All of these are hearsay, and only get, they're only hearsay from Julian. As you know and agree, you, you only met Julian on the 30th of, of January. So, therefore, you have not had the interaction.